big topic now that we've covered a few times here on these streams, uh, twice now, I think, anyway, was Halloween, uh, Halloween ends, right? Halloween ends. Ugh. Halloween ends. Uh, indeed. Uh, end it. So, end it. Yeah. It. Well, yeah. So this was supposed to be a trilogy. It was originally supposed to be across one evening, one day, one night, Hall one Halloween set across that and then they obviously butchered it and fudged it all up they didn't know what they were doing they 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 wrote a bizarre crappy movie that we just saw and then they came out and said yeah we knew people weren't going to like this uh, uh, and you know they were warning actors yeah you know a lot of people are really not going to like this movie so i always ask well then why did you make it but now they've come out and said ah oh, I, I never considered making a lauria michael movie <laughs> what i mean maybe he didn't at first until uh jamie lee curtis showed some interest i'm not gonna say he's wrong in that but uh i mean he's what? been saying some really stupid shit in the last two weeks <laughs> david gordon green is gonna be doing the exorcist now i know that has me very me worried any hope for that oh yeah oof. <laughs> I mean, I, and I, I don't. How are you gonna top the original Exorcist? I mean, good lord! Well, it's, it's, I, well, it's, it's continuation, apparently. I think. Um, oh, is it but, like but, a? But, yeah, but but just just to get to this real quick, just for context, so you can all comment on it. We had to decide how we wanted to wrap up these characters. I thought you already did. I thought when this was announced, it was already established across one evening. We know how it's gonna go down. So what's that all about? How do we want to make it not just a nice, neat bow on a franchise? Honestly, we never once considered making a Laurie and Michael movie. The concept that it should be a final showdown type brawl never even crossed our minds. I wanted to see where it would go. I wanted one to win, one to die. But we were always more ambitious with that. So how did we want to go out? By doing what no one uh, expect us would do make a love story it's our version of going out with a bang and opening our hearts to this community and these characters look i'm just going to give my thoughts first and foremost that is the biggest pile of bollocks i've heard in such a long time this not only is a story is a movie is a film you know a narrative but also dipshit it has to tie into the other movies and it didn't it has to you know uh, thematically speaking, tonally speaking, fit because it's a trilogy. Fuck me. Thoughts? Anyone? Tom? Paulie? Nick? I'd love to hear the other guys first before I chime in because, yeah, like. Well, I I'll just say this. I, I skipped Halloween Kills because I heard it was so bad, but then I watched this one. And I went back and watched Halloween Kills uh, just this past weekend. And I actually liked that movie way better than Halloween Ends. Like when I was watching Halloween Ends, I was expecting something big, like a big showdown. You know, and Michael Myers was almost like a side character in it. I, I was like, what are, the, what are they doing here with this uh, story? It just, it didn't make sense to me. I absolutely hated it. I hated it so much that I actually went back and watched uh halloween one and two and four and five uh like that same weekend after i saw halloween ends because like i i wanted to go back and have that same nostalgic classic feeling of watching michael mm. myers in a halloween movie and and when i got done watching those classics i mean it it wasn't even close to comparing to what halloween uh ends was i i thought it was a complete disappointment probably one of the worst horror movies i think i've probably ever seen it wasn't a horror movie did you not read it was a love story mate yeah yeah worst <laughs> love story i've ever seen <laughs> nate i'm gonna defer my time to tom but i will say elijah snow said in the chat an, an exasperated uh nate is the best <laughs> uh... that like i didn't hate halloween kills actually i'm one of the few people who kind of enjoyed it for all the wrong reasons but i liked it like uh halloween ends i, I don't know what the hell i am I, I mean obviously we were right any of us who said that they clearly didn't have an idea for a third story and 
this is the result. It should have just been two movies at most, if not just one for all that. Mm. Like, just I end mean, it as if with him disappearing. Just do that. Whatever. Or, like let's, I said, let just, someone else finish the bloody story if you can't come up with something. Yeah. Well, honestly, the, the, the logical <sighs> ending after this whole, like, you can't keep saying evil dies tonight, evil dies tonight, and not kill evil tonight. First of all, <laughs> the logical <laughs> ending is a final yeah. showdown. That yeah. Is and that's what I said. Conclusion. It makes sense. After Lori's daughter gets killed in Halloween Kills, spoilers. It should have been the ending they were going to plan on doing, only you just finish it there. You have Lori leave, you don't kill Tommy, and you have Lindsay join, and you have the three of them who are the three survivors of Halloween night. They go off and they kill Michael Myers. After they're done killing him, she clearly still, you know, healing from surgery, undoes her, like, stitches or something in the fight, and she dies there in Lindsay and Tommy's arms, and then you have a co, like funeral for michael and Lori. end of the discussion why couldn't mm. couldn't you just end the movie that way that sounds right? like, so much better tom and it would have made more sense <laughs> no we, we had to have a love story and you know between uh corey uh and michael myers wasn't it that was the love story wasn't it <laughs> you look like into their eyes something like that fucking God. Was he standing outside of the, the, the sewer pipe with a boombox yeah. over his head? Your eyes, yeah. the light, the heat. <laughs> Might as well have. This was this was, <laughs> this was this was genuinely one of the worst movies I've seen in a very long time. I really I have a lot of hate for this film. A lot I was of hate like, for this film. I was like, what's Michael doing in the sewer? Is he like hibernating down there? He's been sat there for four years. Four years. Yeah. Four years. It, what, what he's actually been doing, which they hinted Wait, at. Wait, what's the storyline? Are you serious? Yes, oh, mate. Oh, yeah, that's right. Paul, he's, he's, been hasn't down seen there for, he's been down there I'm for not... four years. There's a four-year <laughs> time jump. <laughs> he's, just been, he's just been milling around in the sewers. He's been killing people and putting them in mud, making mud pillars with them, which isn't explained. Wow. It's, it's just hinted at. Fuck this movie in the bum hole with a pineapple and a spade. God... Tapache. Oh, really? With Tapache. <laughs> With Tapache, which I've got some Tapache. Some, 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 tapache. The, it, it, I've got some tapache, tapache, ladies and gents. Tapache. It's a Mexican <laughs> drink, if you didn't know. Tapache. Um, honestly, I hate this film. It was so bad. Uh, any other comments on this? Just anything. Any, how would you have finished it, Nick? How would you have made this yeah. story? I, I like Tom's idea uh, to where, you know, like i was like going into it i was like okay this is the last one we're gonna get that show down and we're actually gonna see him in a grave you know buried he's actually really dead uh mm. there's no coming back and and then i saw this other guy who basically took over the movie the whole time yeah. and was like michael myers light and i'm like what is going on here uh so yeah i would have ended it uh similar to what tom was saying that that's a much better ending to it uh you know but with these franchises we'll end up getting a reboot at some point in time i'm sure michael myers will be back in another timeline in another story uh maybe they'll do it justice uh when they end up doing another halloween movie. It, you know it's always the last one until there's another one this film so much i just i cannot believe they come out and said this <laughs> how how do you say oh, this yes. how do we want to make it not just a nice neat bow on the franchise why would you not want to make it just a nice neat neat bow on the franchise why Especially would you, you got ends it? in the title of the movie <laughs> well what's stupid how? is you set yourself up to continue the franchise right like that was the whole point of it is they're not brother and sister anymore and michael really doesn't give a shit about lawyer that's mm. like kind of the whole point so you set him back up as the babysitter killer which is what he started to begin with and that way you can just make endless fucking halloween movies until whenever like <laughs> just you just keep going epically terrible film on so many levels this film was terrible it fails yeah. it fails as a horror movie it fails as Fundamentally, it fails as the third entry to a trilogy, right? It, it absolutely fails as that. And it fails as a Halloween movie. It just fails on every single level. 
And it, was it just actually bad. makes Halloween five and six not look that bad. And those are the worst of the garbage. original series. Yeah. Next to Resurrection. Garbage. 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 I hate Even it. Resurrection is better than this shit. <laughs> to be honest with you. At uh, least that's a Halloween movie. After Laurie's dead, it just kind of becomes a Halloween movie at that point. Yeah. With Buster Rhymes. <laughs> uh, a treat, motherfucker. <laughs> Demonetized. Thanks, Tom. Chase. <laughs> but I, the I, late I, I, 90s, I, early 2000s rapper phase of L. Cool J and Buster uh, Rhymes. And he Halloween was a good movies. idea. The rest, not so much. Like, yeah. I, I actually liked LL Cool J. I'll, to be honest with you, I was happy to see that he lived in H2O at first. I'm like, oh, he didn't mm. die. <laughs> like, that's sweet. Uh, Zombie Box Review says that scene with the chick pinned under the fence was unintentionally funny. Uh, she doesn't warn her friend that Michael was behind him. She just says, you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of weird. That whole scene was kind of weird. Yeah, like, ridiculous. Utterly you know, if dumb. this was Halloween 4 of this trilogy, like, we'd already gotten another trilogy, and this was, like, the next step, like, after they killed Michael Myers or something, mm. and, like, the ghost is looming... And this kid just decides to kind of pick up the mantle and from here on out, I wouldn't, I don't think most people would be complaining as much. I still didn't like the execution, but like I said, mm -hmm. if you had already got a logical ending to this other story and then pick up with the, you know, like this is after the fact, right? Like Lori's trying to get her life together, helping raise yeah. her granddaughter and get her back into, you know, life again. And her, you know, and then Michael's that could have been an interesting in story. Sewers. Instead of having Michael chilling down in the sewers, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's so dumb. 